Well, we've talked a lot this week about Donald Trump's 60 Minutes interview covering what the president said about family separations, foreign policy, climate change, and more. But I have to admit we've left out one major detail. Now, you may have noticed this painting hanging in the Oval Office as seen in a shot behind Trump and interviewer Leslie Stahl. Now, let's take a closer look. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. That's Trump, flanked by some of the most famous Republican predecessors. Presidents Eisenhower and Ford, Teddy Roosevelt, Richard Nixon, Bush 41 and 43, and party favorites Ronald Reagan and Abraham Lincoln. It's the dogs playing poker of presidential portraits. And it's by artist Andy Thomas. He's a self-professed cowboy painter from Missouri, whose stuff usually looks a little more Western front than White House. Surprise is not on velvet, actually, and it's not exactly standard fare for the Oval Office either. Just ask Jed Bartlett. He's the fictional president from NBC's The West Wing. Leonardo da Vinci, Madonna and Chow with a pomegranate. Nice. Here's Botticelli, Adoration of the Magi. What are we doing right now? We're choosing pictures from the collection at the National Gallery. They will own stuff? Anything you want in the National Gallery or the whole Smithsonian. Anything Trump wanted, too. Da Vinci, Van Gogh, Botticelli, and he went with a cowboy painter from Missouri. The rest, of course, is history. And if a picture is worth a thousand words, then this painting must be worth a million. At least ABC's late-night host Jimmy Kimmel had a few of them. There are only three living people in this painting. Two of them hate Donald Trump. The other one is Donald Trump. <laughs> and what a beautifully crafted piece of narcissism narcissistic indeed and very forgiving because let's just say if the camera adds 40 pounds thomas's paintbrush takes off at least as much if you're trump that is poor howard taft on the other hand who's better known as the president who got stuck in a white house bathtub wasn't quite so lucky and neither are we the american people because as journalist josh billinson put it on twitter oh my god it's hanging in the white house Yes, it is. But at least it's the only Trump commission in the nation's house. We might not be able to appreciate this masterpiece, but I'm sure we can appreciate that this other piece of art, remember this, is not hanging right next to it.